Pull up a chair and tell me your memory. Why does it matter to you? I want to hear your story, your point of view. Tell me what happened to you. Mm -hmm. Hi, and welcome back to Tell Me What Happened, the podcast that features folks from all walks of life telling us one childhood story and how that experience has impacted who they are today. I'm your host, Jay Rehack, and like you, I've had my share of childhood experiences, some of them delightful, some of them quite painful. But I'd like to think that everything that's ever happened to me has made me who I am today. Tell Me What Happened is sponsored by Sidelining Publishing, publishers of quality books, including Susan Salador's classic, One Little Act of Kindness, available wherever quality books are sold. The perfect gift for the holidays for the little ones in your life. Tell Me What Happened is also sponsored by LaughSaver.com. Download the app, the LaughSaver app, and record your laughter. We'll keep it for you now and forever. It's free, and your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren will thank you for it. So visit LaughSaver.com or download the app, LaughSaver app, and record your laughter today. All right, today I have as my special guest a man that I never thought I'd get on the show, but makes me very happy that he is, my brother-in-law, Jeff Salador. Jeff is an investment trader as well as a life health coach. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hey, Jay, thanks for having me. Jeff, are you ready to tell your story? Why not? All right. Well, listen, Jeff, one thing, I'm going to get out of the way in a minute. And when I do, I'll just let you tell your story. But at the end, I'm going to ask you just one question. And that one question is, how do you think that story, that childhood experience has impacted who you are today? So take it away, Jeff Salador. Okay. So I'm going to title my brief story, Actions Have Consequences. So this story happened when I was in my 20s living at home with my mom and my dad. My sister was away at school in New York City and another brother in New York City as well. And it came a time in my life where I was in my early 20s and I had a great job and I was quite independent at a young age. Didn't really go to my dad and mom for too much advice, kind of independent on my own. Times are a little bit different uh, than they are today with kids growing up. So the story goes that my mother contracted cancer and back then it was a much bigger to do than i would say it is today we didn't know what was going to happen so the the gist of the story is the young independent jeff salador was dating a girl and i wasn't really considerate and i decided to move out of the house so i moved out of the house and i didn't feel right about it living with this uh, young woman about 45 minutes from the house. I had a full-time job and I come back to the house, the home, my dad and mom's home, probably twice, three times a week, cut the lawn to do a couple of things. But I never really felt great about the move. So not quite sure what possessed me to or what came over me, but the relationship ended and I eventually moved back to the home, which was about four or five months later. And I, I'll never forget driving home, knowing that I was have to confront my father for the first time. So I got to the house with my stuff, unpacked everything, brought into the house. And my dad said, I want to talk to you. So we walked downstairs into the garage and he looked at me and he said to me, you know, I don't have to like what you did, but I have to accept what you did. I like to think it was a building block, which resonated later in my life. And I truly believe it was a turning point. Well, it was the beginning of a turning point for me to, to see uh, the fact that you do things and there always are consequences. So that basically is the story. I've heard your father just, I mean, you and I, I mean, I know your dad, not of course, not as long as you've known him, but I mean, I know your dad and I remember him distinctly telling me this similar statement when I 
uh, asked him if I could marry uh, his daughter and moved to Chicago. And he said similar to me to what you said to you, which is he didn't have to like it. He just had to learn to accept it. And I've always been amazed by that statement because I think it is pretty, uh, you know, profound in, in its own way. So he wasn't upset with you when you when he got back. Is that what you're saying? Very quiet, very quiet. And he realized that I was home. And I think that was the most important thing for him because what we had to begin to deal with was, you know, crazy moving forward with my yeah. mom and cancer and, and getting worse. Yeah. And, and just as an aside, your mother actually ultimately passed away from that cancer, didn't she? That is correct. That is correct. I'm sorry. So here's the question that's really important for my listeners. And that is, how do you think that experience your father telling you that has impacted who you are today as a person. Well, I believe that that experience I took with me and I viewed many things differently as, as I got older and I became more of an empathetic person and understanding other people's needs more than my needs. And you always don't have to like to do something, but Sometimes you have to do things. And I, I think it just growing up helped me mature more, knowing that, you know, lessons in thoughtfulness and being nicer to people, especially family members. And I think this is stuff that just comes with time. For me, it took me a long time, but I believe I got onto the road to hopefully the person that I am today. And I try to, the story constantly pops into my head when yeah, a- situations come up. It doesn't sound like you were, you know, did anything terrible. I mean, I know your mother was sick, but you know, you're in your twenties, you fall in love. What are you going to do? You know I mean? That, yeah. That seems fair. You can fall in love anytime. <laughs> no. Well, it's a sad story, Jeff. And uh, I, 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 sorry, it still sticks with you, but uh, I understand the profound implications of your father's words. And I, as a father, I've, I've, I've felt it many times as well, that you don't necessarily have to like it, you just have to accept it. But I'd like to thank you, Jeff, for coming on the show and telling your story. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. And look forward to hearing uh, the finished product. <laughs> All right. All right, I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Sidelining Publishing, Publishers of Quality Books, and LaughSaber.com. Download the app, the Laugh Saver app, and record your laughter. We'll keep it for you now and forever. It's free, and your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren will thank you for it. So visit LaughSaver.com or download the app, Laugh Saver app, and record your laughter today. All right, I'm going to end this show a little differently than uh, usual. I'm going to end it with Susan Salador's classic, I Love My Sister, in honor of of my brother-in-law, Jeff, because I did marry his sister, the great Susan Salador. So until next time, this is Jay Rehack asking you all to please stay safe out there and try not to hurt anybody. I love my sister and she loves me when I look in her eyes. It's me I see She makes me laugh Even when I want to cry I love my sister And that's no lie I love my brother And he loves me When I look in